Afrex Zimbanki. Africa Export and Import Bank Limited. And they went there to go and beg for $3.3 billion cash. And those ones said, where is your collateral? They use Nigeria's future oil prospect as collateral. Don't worry. We will give you 164 million barrels of crude oil. 167 million barrels of crude oil. If we don't pay this money back. But see, listen, we don't have any plan of paying back. That is why if you value the crude oil, not 12 billion, nobody they do that kind of crazy deal. But we they do one from Nigeria. 12 billion dollars worth of crude oil as collateral for 3.3 billion dollars cash money they just want to steal i mean seriously do you have an idea what they use the 3.3 billion dollars for do you but in five years time these unknown people from unknown where they will begin to take nigeria crude oil and no shishi will be paid to nigeria think about that there are so many fraud though Underneath you, that you continue to deny Nigeria inflow of forex. Boya, see, Boya, uh, key, uh, Sanusi Lamido Sanusi, help me. I will show you KDB. A lot of you are asking, Who is KDB? Who is KDB? Oh, Bonkwa Kadoso. Ola Yemi Kadoso. The man that replaced the Mefioli. KDB Lorukoe. Come for jury dollars. Uh, Sanusi, help me why is there no money coming in why is nmpc not able to bring in dollars i'm sorry this is the question that cost me my job i will continue asking this question until nmpc is fixed or until i die where are the dollars we need to shine light on nmpc The finance minister cannot tell you because he doesn't have a metering system that reports to him. The finance minister cannot tell you that today this is how many barrels of oil that we produce and exported. He can only rely on NPC telling him. Those barrels are revenue. They belong to finance. We've been talking about this for 10 years. We need a metering system. The finance ministry needs to know how much oil we are producing every day, how much oil we are selling, and where the money is going. Because if you don't fix the leakages in that system, if you don't l fix the revenue, the dollar revenue issue, you will never fix the exchange rate problem. Oil is not going to grow our GDP. I've always said that. Oil... I mean, if you, if, you, if, you, if you took out all the oil in Nigeria today and sold it, it would raise our per capita income to maybe $4,000. We won't even be a middle-income country. Oil will never make us rich, but it is working capital. It is working capital. It is a lubricant for our import-dependent economy. And we cannot afford to continue producing the oil and not seeing the revenue. We are no longer paying subsidies. So where are the dollars? Before it was under recovery. Now we don't have under recovery. Where is the money? It was the issue I raised for which I was suspended. You can suspend me again. Okay? But it is an issue that this country must address. NMPC is the most opaque oil company in the world. Nigeria is so corrupt, which I, I regret the day I was born in this country. It's unfair. This is unfair now. This is unfair. Nigeria is so Nigeria is so corrupt, which I, I regret the day I was born in this country. It's unfair. This is unfair now. This is unfair. Nigeria is so Nigeria is making money from crude oil. But Nigerians are not seeing the money, and Nigerians are not asking. They are just wondering, why are we poor? Well, where is the money? The government is doing everything to make sure that everything works. Last 10 years, they stole and stole to the point that they felt like, mm, instead of stealing the money, which is traceable, why don't we just steal the crude oil and sell the crude oil? Ah, Oshé Jari, Ogmoso Diki. 
very, very intelligent. We are going to promote you, Shotigbo. But let's start it. Put it in motion. And for straight seven years, they were stealing over 700,000 barrels of crude oil from Nigeria every day. And they were disappearing on Nigerian sea, Nigeria water, just like that. See, uh, Navy, they are supposed to be protecting Nigeria water against pirates or oil thieves. They were those who are now chairmen and chairwomen. Invested, they stick, uh, 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 what do you call it? What do you call them? Shareholders in the oil smuggling in Nigeria. At the end of the day, Nigeria just they sell crude oil, nobody they see them. So Sanusi was asking, but well, Kadibi has told Tifnumbu, we have tried everything, it you no know, work. Yemi Kadoso is Tifnumbu's central bank governor. He was the guy that announced that they were floating the Naira. And they will float the Naira and let everybody go and buy their dollars from anywhere they want. And if you have dollars, go and sell it, wherever, how much, how much, whatever price you want. Once everybody begin to sell all of their dollars eh, at whatever price they wanted, okay, then before you know it, Naira will just begin to gain strength. These are the voodoo economies still. Remember that uh, if you are joining APC, you will no longer need your brain. All you need is to just improve on your criminal intelligence so that you are very much criminally than normal. Here you get. That is Cardi B. Cardi B has promised, I mean, has used uh, $12 billion uh, crude oil to borrow $3.3 .3 billion using the Kiyari of NNPC early. You remember that, that this guy sold Nigeria and NPC to themselves. Eh? They make themselves shareholders of Nigeria and NPC. The staff of the NPC and the rest of them, eh? they now join them together that now Nigeria can't they pay the salary of eh, these people. But when it comes to the dividend or profits, these guys are also the same guys selling Nigeria crude oil, collecting money. Eh? And they are doing so now as a business. They collect percentage. And these are the guys that will tell you how much crude oil is sold, how much money they make. You can never tell if none of this is verified. Here you get. That's how they sold Nigeria. You may think you still have the oil. It's not yours anymore. So Kadi B has now brought a, a sort of a Agbado economic idea and that is why i want to warn all of you you know say some of you love to pretend eh everybody is screaming this country ah man this country is tough this country is sad but some of you eh you have changed your naira to dollars saved them eh in different dumb accounts in different banks some of you will say to yourself, I trust this my bank, they cannot touch it. I trust that my bank, they cannot touch it. Ola Yemi Kadosu has been going mad since yesterday or two days ago. Their new economic, Tifnubunomics uh, voodoo economy is that they believe that some of you have used your Naira to buy dollars and you have saved them and you are the reason Nigeria has no dollar. You are the reason Nigeria Naira is crashing. They told you to go and sell it. Go and bring your dollar out. Because the Agbado Onigbongbu economist, they said from their investigation, even though all the source of revenue for Nigeria that uh, Nigeria should earn Forex from, they have uh, ruined every, everything, sold them off or looted them. The Onigbongbu Obale Nde Accountant, when economists, they said they believe that some of you, if they look into all the domiciliary accounts in Nigeria, they will see over $100 billion cash. Because to an average Agbado, Agbadorian, eh, you see that your account balance that says $1,800, $16,000, $15,000. To an average Agbado, hmm? That is $16,000. Then put them inside one box in a vault inside one bank 
or inside all the banks in Nigeria. The money is just there. Nobody is touching it. It's, you know what I mean? So the Central Bank of Nigeria, they must force the banks to bring out the dollars. This advice, Kadibiti, go advice, see you Look at these two clowns. On the left, ni Kadibi. On the right, ni senior advocate of New Sansi. Wale Oke is the minister of finance in Nigeria. Does this guy look any tiny how familiar? Eh? La familia? La familia? La face? That guy on the right. May I show you again? That was uh, Tiff Numbu's uh, lawyer. Eh? At the tribunal. Presidential tribunal. Eh? He was one of them. A part of the... You know what I mean? Eh? So he's now in charge of finance. And the Agbadorians want you to believe that these two, they are gurus discovered by this clown. And we are, comp we are competing with our brothers and the bandits to recruit from the youths who are unemployed. That is 30% unemployed. Recruit 50 million youths into the army and the other uh, Take away from their recruitment source. What do we eat? Cassava, uh, Badu, uh, corn, and uh, the morning, uh, yam in the afternoon. It's growing here. You create demand and consumption. For over 5 million uh, army of uh, boot camps. We create our food. I mean, that's money for the farmers. That's consumption for the soldiers and skill development. Don't call them by illiteracy. Don't talk about illiteracy. Anybody who can own gun, who can handle gun, who can cook gun and clean the chamber and uh, cook and shoot is technically competent to repair a tractor in the farm. Call you the man that uh, discovered these two geniuses. The one on the right told Nigerians they will never borrow money to fund the budget. But you know the story today. So I don't want to talk about it. That's the clown. He's the one leading the economy. He is the leader of the economic team. <laughs> the one on the right, Wale Edo. The one on the right, Ombo Nye, Kadoso Nye, or Kadibi. Now, Kadibi has listened to the advice of the Agbadorians. If the banks are not going to bring out the money, uh -huh, then we are going to force them to bring the money out. We believe that you are keeping some dollars in your vault. And we need to bring them out. They are the reason why Nigeria. So if you bring them out now, then people can access dollars. Central Bank of Nigeria can no longer supply the needed forex for businesses in Nigeria anymore. They cannot. So they are hiding that. So they are coming for your money. And let me tell you how they are going to do it because a lot of you don't know. The dollar in your bank account are gone. The most they can do, eh, is if you have, if you ask your bank to withdraw your dollar. So yeah, tomorrow, all of you will get dollars for account. $100, $200, domiciliary account, Abi. Lossy bank, Elola. Go to your bank tomorrow. I mean, tomorrow is Saturday. Okay, go to your bank on Monday. Okay? And tell them that you want your cash. And see if your bank will be able to provide the equivalent cash of dollars in your bank account. A lot of you don't even know that yet, you. That is why they are advising everybody we get any domiciliary account right now. Go and try and put it somewhere that is safe. Some people are suggesting USDT. Some are suggesting Bitcoin. I don't know much about them. But leaving them in Nigerian banks, you will wake up one morning. 
one single policy. Let me tell you what's going to happen. Eh? You are going to wake up one morning, okay? And you are going to hear from your bank. Your bank is going to say, even though we have uh, ten thousand dollars of your money that is showing up on your, in your, I mean, in your domiciliary accounts, but we have been authorized to only pay you in naira. What? I need my dollars. A lot of you are going to come out very soon if you don't eat my warning. These people have robbed from everyone they can rob from. I am telling you, they were they they, uh, they were robbing from dead people. Yes. They robbed from pensioners. The moment they saw that uh, the pension uh, fund has over 17 trillion, they started planning how to rob it, and then they will write them bond. That bond is going to be like, okay, yeah, some people will put together some money by by uh, a bond into, I mean, uh, pensioner, I mean, the pension fund. They dig money at the hands in pension fund. They targeted dead people's bank accounts. They call them dormant accounts. If you have left your account dormant for five years, eh, it all started from Bokuari time. Oh, they will pick all the money from it. Hmm? All of this was not enough. They were printing money. This was how greedy they are. Now, you see all those your dollars. Eh? You will wake up one morning. You will see the balance. And say, ah, is my eyes paining me? Like, you'll be like, ah, is, it, is my eye paining me? I was supposed to have $10,460 here. The money I'm putting there to use for my school fees in Canada. What am I looking at here? 20, I mean, sorry. 11 million, 11.2 million naira. Ah, she don't matter. She, is this domiciliary account? I be current account. A lot of you are going to wake up if you don't listen to what I'm saying to you right now. They are coming for it. Because their belief is that that money, eh, that balance in your account there, is is being locked somewhere in one vault. A majority of these are bad. economists, they believe it. And I'm not here to convince you that that you have the balance of this social dollar in your showing on your screen on your app. Eh? Does not mean that uh, that dollar is lying in one uh, in one pot inside the bank. Sure you get. The reason why a lot of people who have demanded to transfer their real money, the real investors where their cash have, have been trapped in Nigeria. A lot of you are going to experience what they experience now. If you don't move that your $20, Omavije Sarah last in it. B is coming for it. I just thought you should know. And despite all of this going on, eh? Confessor eh, Shoyinka seems to be walking about blind. And we know the NK I'm so sorry if you don't understand Yoruba. Do you remember this woman? He never reached in town. Now kill. After our local, Mr. Obi can come out. You understand me? Even say this our local. Where the talk say our local, our local. If you read there, you understand me now. If you don't read there, make you just stay patient. Make you see that eight years where she want you want to do. She be saying, "Where is going now? Where is good? Where is no good? Where is better? Where is die? Where is no die? Now where is dead yet? Now fake where is dead yet? Eight years done. Don't pass for Ghana. Another person go enter. Make a big go kill. After this eight years, where you want enter again? Make a big come out. Mr. Obi can come out. May government support us now. We then support us. We will be the corner with the suffer. So, Ben is saying, Eddie, you share now, don't come struggle. We want to. So, do you any banner? It's not a long one. It's not a long one. It's not a long one. So, do you remember now? 
eight months, yo. And we are still going for eight years. Do you know how many years remain? Seven years, four months. And to those of you who are still, eh, you are still kind of, eh, you are still being able to afford things. Let me tell you what is going to happen to you. By the time Kadibi and Tifnumbu finish with this threat of people taking out their dollars and exchanging it, it's, uh, it's unpatriotic to save dollars in your account, blah, 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 blah. By the time they are done, have you heard something called capital flight? Eh? You see, by the time the result of all of this will come out, you would expect the dollar to go to how much? 800, that'd be 700, that'd be. By the time the result finally comes out, eh? Oma da bi arason pa kiloruko eni. You see, those of you who are still able to afford things now, Gary is this, uh, Semo is that, Ororo is this, uh, fuel is too expensive, uh, this one is expensive, that one is this and that, yeah? Majority of you too, eh? You are going to be, you are going to, very soon, you are going to start either finding a way to run away yourself or one of your videos are going to pop on this screen where you too will say, what if I saw me do lose you? Because what they are doing to you that you don't know, the hyperinflation that you are suffering from, you see all this knee jack uh, fire brigade policy, see? Eh? The roadside uh, economic uh, uh, gossip uh, idea, see? Hmm. By the time the results are, they begin to arrive, you may likely be more upset and teary than this young man. Sorry if you don't understand Yoruba. Here is uh, one of the Emilocons. He is doing fine, no? but inside, inside, he knows he is living on a borrowed time. Before you know it, eh? He too will likely fall into the basket, the bracket of that uh, poverty. Or do you think all those who are in poverty today, some of them are not living better yesterday? In 2015, Bokwari that has been jobless for over 30 years, educated people, employed people, eh? people with jobs, people with businesses, they joined the bandwagon of uh, Tifnumbu, the, the strange bedfellows, that they wanted to change Nigeria and save Nigeria. By the time uh, Bokwari was done with you in eight years. A lot of those who were like uh, employed in 2015, they were mostly beggars today. Or they have jackpot, ran away from Nigeria. The Nigeria they thought, those who were in, uh, those who were abroad, by the time Bokwari gets in, all of us go they, we go they return. Like say, eh, the Israelites are coming back from Egypt. Eh? They said it too. They say all of us, they say oh, your boys will be begging for Nigeria visa. At the end of the day, Nigerians, they do night vigil eh, for Somalia visa. Can you even believe that? After eight years. You see, when these ones are done, eh, a lot of you that are still able to afford 1,000 era bread, 1,000 era semo, 60,000 era bag of rice. By the time Tifnobu is done, eh? And the unfortunate thing is that it's not going to be limited to those who are the Abobakus, the Awonlokons. If you don't understand Yoruba, relax. Somebody is going to be interpreting for you or subtitling for you in the comments. Now, if you don't see any, right, I will come back here and give you the summary. But I don't know if you should believe the tears. I think the guy wanted to like uh, start with being teary, like oh, eh, and somehow, somehow, the truth just eat him. Like ah, I, I I'm not even I, I don't have, even have to pretend though. This issue now, all of us are crying, including those who can even afford it right now, struggling to afford it. Oh, imagine those who can't at all. Listen to this man. I listen Berry Brookuni. Say, why are you so cosimo? Since you told you, Copa money. You're by Jadin Coyoka, the Jadin Kelebe. 
Se wa di asa kokan mi. Olori ire yin ba won daru e. Asa kokan mi na ni malu kan da la fi oba laye lu akan laye ojo si. Oran te sin da malu na pada fi ko fa oran. Tori kan ba pa wa, tori kan mo ji wa gbe, tori kan mo ba nikan ke bi wa, tori kan mo ba ran wa le mo, tori kan mo ba dajo oku fun wa, tori kan mo ba ni e lo assassinate e pada nu. Lo wa fa awari nkan kan to de jade, tori ya tin je wa lowo bayi lo ilede Nigeria. Ta si le ni tan la na. Mo wa nikan lo ra ra si, iki oda 6500. Bagi cement la ro e mi gege mo ra. 6500 pelo kada ti o gbe wonu site asiwaju wa o fo ba tun ni mi se leri o ya won tan ba etu ko lu wala wo piti wa awon tan gbo wo osu bo na se fe gbaye bayi ha pe ba de passport office se bi mi mo se passport ti ba mi yen o joju mo le ro po lo do mi a jaw. That's it. What lie? Or the lady, a billu. That one me kono ba vi soko. To me ojo ba ekele. Oro lo ni o. E peri wo. What lie? That lie. Ko me ojo ma wo to dele. Oro wo si ma beja wo. Ah. Ati e gba wa ta le to wo ba ko ta le ran to wo wa. E ro ta wo kan. O bo te ba wa so ari nkan kan o lo asiwaju wa la ari nkan kan e la ri na ina odu ona da ha ile fo po te la ri ki lo wo re wo ri epo gan te jo e jo ki lo wo re wo ri epo te jo n te jo na ni si te la fi ri ati december ati e fo ati january e ari nkan kan o lo ari nkan kan e se ra tu bo te Bubba, what does the government have to learn? What to learn? What to do? Bubba, no one else will watch any talk. Bubba, no one else will watch minister. He lost his job. He did not pass. Okay, we go. We are not finished. That's why I want to see your boy tell him. But that's if he did be. Halala, no man can do. He has no document. Bubba, no one else will watch. And John, for his gang, we are not going to carry ballet. That's if he goes in there for what he has won in a so. Se mba ye ti lore ti lo wo. Da ni mba ye se jomba. To be da lu. To be da mo gwe ru. E wo ye po. E wo ye ra si. E wo ye gari. Pa no su ke go ta ni nje tere. Ta ni nje sa wa. O lo ri e jani se no. O po li na ti nje mba ti wo ti e re na fi jom. E lo mi go ti e ro nje je. E jom. E jom be e ba ro go go ke. E ro jom ta akpa di o lo to se da wa. Wa lai. Oh, what you want to do, Juma? Oh, for my turn, the Miss Larry, Lama. Eh, the John Tori to long, Tori to long. Eh, 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 Tori to lò e te ni bè rò lò kè lò kò te bà se. Kè yon ti jò ta mò bà rò. Ta kò 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 ta fà yè se ta mò sò. E nò wà yò ni rò jò mò. Tore bè nò bà rò jò e nò ok bà rò. E nò jò ti o kù yò kò bà tò sè da yì. E nò ti fò kè kè nò sà rè. Sè yè pi pi sè e lè ti nè. Sè e e lè ti nè. Ah. E jò tori to lò e rò ti mè kò nò. Tori o lò wà lè rò fà rà rò. Bukbo te le si wala a rin kaka. O lò mo fò lò to se mi mi bura si. A rin kaka. A yi le soro. A ti se bo. A ti se te. A ti se te. A ti nou paro ti pe. A ti se te. Ti to o di mo o do do o si mo. A ti se te. A ti se te. Kakwa de fa la re. A ti se te. Kakwa de fa la re. A ti se te. A da jo on paro. To li o go. A ti se te. A ti se te. O di nou paro on to li bo. A ti se te. Adi se te, edu o bo wo me, men te, adi se te, adi se te, edi se te, adi se te, ti ya an gara anu, adi se te, adi se bo, adi se te, adi se te, adi nou paro ti pe, adi se te, ti to o di mo o do do o si mo, adi se te, adi se te, kakwa de fa la re, adi se te, kakwa de fa la re, adi se te, 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 adi
Nte, adisete, adisete, etisete, adisete, tigeangi aranu, adisete, etisebo, akisete. Etisete, etisete, etisebo. Consequences, they said. They said elections have consequences. So what that man was uh, upset about is the situation of the economy. The fact that the amount of money it gives to people who cannot uh, feed themselves every day breaks his heart. He said, everything that Ifnubu promised them, they haven't seen anything. That was him saying, I swear to God. We didn't see anything. Eh? You said you are already rich. Your wife is already, your wife said that you are already rich. You don't need our money. But who are the people around you who are making this country hard? When, when you got there, we thought it was like, ah, the man that loved the poor is now in charge. That's why I said, said we immediately Tifnumbu came in, they felt like, ah, the man that loved the poor is now in charge. Who are the people who are making us suffer, Ashiwaju? Where is the money you remove from subsidy that you said you will help us with? That's when he started crying. But in a nutshell, it seems like he wasn't crying for himself. He was crying for others because he has seen it. He could tell about it. He feel feel it. I felt it. Ah, well, maybe still feeling it. You know? So he had to make that video and say, Tif Numbu, ah. then at some point he had to say, Ah, Tif Numbu, why don't you remember the time you will die? The day that we are all going to show up in front of our creator. That's one of the lies they are telling you. This is why I hate people who involved politics in, I mean, who involved religion in politics. So this is why I have problem with them. There are people who believe that all of these things that these criminals are doing to them, eh, they are going to face God and account for everything. And God will punish them by sending them to hellfire. Baba, do you even understand that kind of uh, brainwashing when you use that in place of politics? So politicians will say, well, that's fine. We'll meet there. He said, you know that, he said, he said, the tears of a poor man must not, the drop of the tears of a poor man must not drop on the, on the ground. God will be very angry. And when they see God, that's why he says, he says, when Tifnubu see God, God will not allow him to use his mouth to talk about all of the things that he did. God will give him a pen and his hand will be writing all of the things Tifnubu did. He said, Tifnubu should remember that too. Do you hear that, Mumu? So me now, eh? I will now be powerless unable to go after criminals who are destroying my livelihood, who are, who are destroying my value, who are destroying my country, supposedly. I will have no power to go after them. I will just wait till all of us die so that I can laugh. I say, hey, thank you, God. Thank you. Ah, Oshejari, God. You are a very good God. Now, go and burn. Baba God, can I get a binocular? Because I want to be seeing all the Nigerian leaders that are in hellfire so that I can be happy. I can be happy that, ah, yes, look at Babangida burning. Oh, oh so look at, look at the uh, burning. We are, in, we are now in paradise where we will never die. We'll be wearing white clothes. We'll be flowing. We'll be doing all of that because we were poor when we were alive. Imagine millions of people being brainwashed to believe that. And the politicians are just like, eh, hey, go see problem. Go see problem. When we get there, we'll sort that. Ah, uh, Senator, uh, hey, you should remember, you should remember your day with God, though. You say, don't worry. When I get there, we'll sort that one. Eh, hey, money for the hospital. You use that money to buy, to buy a jeep. 
Yes, I used the money to buy cheap. Ha! Ah, it's the day, the day of judgment. Allah back me day of judgment. When we get there, we'll solve that one. We don't want a generation that believes that uh, the criminals who are doing this to them, destroying them, eh, they are so powerful that the only thing they can hold on to is the belief that they will laugh last when they get to heaven. Heaven is sky to just pay slow and bear. Eh? So that the sky daddy will now be dear. Sky daddy will now say, yes. See, Fnumbu, come here. How much is Gary? In May 29, 2023. Ah, about God. The, the price of Gary was just about uh, uh, 500 naira per, per cup. Now, in eight months, how much was Gary? Answer me. Ah, about God. It's 2,500. In eight months. Is that good? Do you know that all these poor people, they did not eat Gary when they were alive? Look at all these poor people. Do you know that man, all these people there? They died because they couldn't afford Semo. Now, here is my judgment. Oh, yeah, go to hell fire. And all the poor people, Nigerians. Hey, in heaven, how stupid can people be? How? That's why I said, when people try to bring washers, they did to me. Oh, I just kind of became a rebel. Oh. Here you get. The politicians are like, okay, yeah, let God judge. God will judge you, Senator. And that's fine. That's the God to judge you. A politician that knows that uh, there's no God that is coming to judge, except when you now, when they become the victims of their own system, system, the failed system they created. For example, ah, they have assassinated the governor, Kiniko Kiniko. Oh, the former governor has been kidnapped. Yes, that's karma. A poor man is happy. There is oppressor. Hmm? He's going to die of cancer. Yes, thank you, God. Forgetting the fact that uh, millions of you are dying of uh, communicable diseases that shouldn't kill you. And millions more will still die because of the failures of these rogues. Anyway, that man is now like pretty, pretty much saying, make Tifnubu shall remember, say God will judge him. Tifnubu doesn't give a damn about you. You just don't know. Some of you tell yourself that uh, there is some people, there are some people who are the ones who are making it difficult for whatever Tifnubu's plan is for you. No, 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 no. They are just doing exactly what they are told to do. Now you, Delulu, delusion, the worry. Here is another one. And every time all of you, they show how the shiggy they hit you. Eh? I will be using your video here to teach other mumus who are fighting and attacking other people who reject Tifnubu. I will be using your video to, you know what I mean, like to teach others. If they kill you, if I see where they kill you, I will take out your corpse. I respect the dead that way. Because I don't wish you dead. I don't want you to be kidnapped or killed. But it's not in my hands. It's not under my control. The people that have the capacity and resources to make sure that you are not kidnapped, they have abandoned their responsibility. You are relying on God. So it's not in my hand that if you are going to be killed or kidnapped, it's not with me. But when you are killed, or kidnapped as a Lagos above Baku and Oshogu Alimajiri, I will still respect your dead body. I'll just show the place and the people around where you were killed or kidnapped so that I can use you to tell others and say, Oh, she marshal, let's see, well, oh, marshal, let's see me, oh, marshal, let's so many of us, whether you like them or not. But those of you who are supporting and defending them, a lot of you believe that this so 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 and so should not affect you. And when they happen to you, I will use you as an example. Uh, for others, and if uh, after using you as an example, if you are still alive, they don't kill you. I will offer you this for your pain. Now, here is another one, like I said. to my brain of a local scene online, everybody has a post. Matter my body, what is to rest? What is that? What should I do? Nigerian cool or by one do I speak to one reject one in FMC. Mon Chez nous, vous, vous êtes leader. Et vous êtes 
dollars naira ikuro pa ati sha e wo bi yo le pa oniga o tin lo fa ah sinjalaba e wo bi ti sa sanaba ete o tun de pe idarola e wo bi kisu ma do mi lo e wo fe won die e wo bi ilu o faro ko pay wa e wo bi ko pay anything can happen at any time eh the one solution is let's find the solution to it small thing was so ko do the issue to ba kin ba fi ni mo ba ni ko pa la ko beta o so alu ko ma ma ka si ma kimi as could you go your rule away? As could you go your rule away? Hello, Nigerians. This is just the beginning. So, and if anybody sort of uh, is feeling the uh, the pain of the hardship, eh? See, I've got two things I could offer you. Please bring out if you are if you are a buari din, a buari didiri, a buari dinotu. Ebuari di jatu. Ebuari shuku ngozi ari uneka ari. Sophisticated morons, ombud slaves of this world. I don't know about your uncles and aunties abroad, okay? They are abroad diane buari diot. They are abroad diane bat idiot. They are abroad diane bat stats. I don't know how much hardship those ones are facing. But if you are watching me from Nigeria, and this Shegemen thing that I recommend is free. It is free, yeah, it's free. So if you are feeling any Shege, just walk into any uh, chemist in your area and ask for Shegemen thing. It's free. It's from the federal government, Tifnumbu's government. Used to in the morning. I mean, sorry, used to every day. Okay. Times seven days a week. You see all this issue of onga uh, onga for sometimes okay you'll be able to kind of or if you now feel like I don't feel you use I don't feel you take any medicine without eating baba eh for some of you are not and uh, my you please anything anything at all now bring out your your pen I've got a card for you this is not for everybody okay it is for the I don't know why they won't even believe me. A lot of you dumbos will believe anything from the mouth of all these uh, APC criminals, but you won't believe me. Eh? Bring out your pen, Nijango, you pretend it. Koko number is still there. Hmm? It is uh, the Ronu card with the Agbado Banki. But let me tell you something. You can only spend, uh, what do you call it, one million naira at a go on this card. And it expires in uh, March 2026. Sure, you get it. Don't let any, don't let everybody see it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Good. You can take the picture. Take the picture. All you need is the number. Just quote the number. I have another one. I think that one is uh, Agbado uh, Depot. Another place where if you take that uh, number there, all right, one circle. If you take that number there, hmm, give me a sec. Sorry about that. So if you take that number, that number I just gave you, right? When you walk into any of the Agbado filling station nearest to you, I mean near you, all right? You have to scream three times on your knees in front of the filling station. Like this. A B, you will not say, wow, don't go there with your family, just you. You say, being Pamio three times. Then walk into the place with that numbers, okay? And the pin is uh, very easy too. Just, you know, it's for the national use. Zero, 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 zero. Zero, Mary. Uh -huh. They ask for the pin. And you weary. And where is the shitty man who said that uh, we're mocking? Eh? We're mocking uh, Nigeria. We are laughing because Nigeria Naira is crashing. People said they will save Nigeria Naira by stealing the money, Forex in people's bank accounts. If you have $100 or $200 anywhere, eh? Cardi B is coming for that money. You will wake up one money and your dollar will become Naira. They have done it in Zimbabwe. They have done it in Venezuela. Your money is gone, Otilo. You better make a move now. 
before it is too late. Eh? So whatever the Adish ship is, my brother, shitty man, who said we were laughing? I don't know if you have seen this video, by the way. I'll show you. It is not only it's happening and it's enchanting, but it should define and have baking that yesterday when the Naira plummeted to 1,500 to the dollar, instead of us to coalesce into a single force and salvage our nation's economy, sadly, sadly, some clowns are celebrating on Twitter. New Zans Lily. New Zans Lily. But did you hear what uh, Shekau Shetima said? Shekau Shitty man. He said some clowns. I want a clown, a lorry You destroy the country. Tiff Nubu will handle economy. Shitty man will handle uh, security. People are being killed. Eh? Nera is on a free fall. The Ashiri, the evil man, eh? Is talking about uh, some people on uh, social media. They are, they are, enjoy a call. She now in, now in fault. We'll be in fault now. Eh? So, yeah. The, he said that, uh, you know, people's uh, economic concept is to steal from you. Their own economic recovery concept is what? Is to borrow money and devalue the Naira. Then turn around and begin to look for people to blame. The other day, they said that uh, Burudi change are the reasons why the dollar is scarce. Eh? And uh, almost same time, uh, two or three 